Hey everybody, Alex here from Android Headlines, and this is the Samsung Galaxy camera, and this is the video review of the Samsung Galaxy camera. On the front, you got your 16.3 megapixel cam camera lens, along with the, its 21 times optical zoom. Um, on the top, you got your flash, your power button, then you've got your volume rocker, along with your zoom and shutter key, all in one. You've got your headphone jack and your USB port for charging your camera and right here inside this little compartment you've got your battery your micro SD card slot uh, HDMI and your 4G SIM card from for Verizon since this is the Verizon model then you got your tripod port and on the other side you've got a small speaker along with the button for the flash and the back you've got your 4.8 inch 720p display um, it is running Android 4.1.2 along with touchless the nature UX that they started rolling out with the Galaxy S3 and Galaxy Note 2 earlier in 2012 you've got access to the full Play Store so you can install pretty much everything that's in the Play Store it comes pre-installed with a few apps that are useful like Dropbox, Instagram, YouTube um, paper artist there are a few other ones uh, once you go into the camera app it probably looks pretty familiar it looks a lot like the, the well, it kind of looks like the camera app from touchless but there's a few more enhancements And over here on modes, you've got auto, smart, and ex expert. Under expert, you can pretty much change anything you want. And under smart, you have all kinds of different things you can use. It's, it's a pretty good camera. Of course, it's going to be better than the camera on your smartphone since it is a $500 camera and it's also 16 megapixels most phones are 8 um, it's available at Verizon and at t for $550 but that is without a contract and you're on a month to month thing uh, it supports LTE on Verizon and HSP Plus on at t there's also a Wi-Fi only model available that's around the same price um, one thing I did want to point out is data usage. If you're not on unlimited data, which most of you probably aren't, since the carriers don't really like unlimited data anymore, you're going to want to be sure that Dropbox, YouTube, and everything are uploading on Wi-Fi, not LTE or HSP+. Because so as you can see in here, I've used almost 14 gigs of data in about two and a half, three weeks. Of course, most of it's Google Plus, YouTube, and Dropbox. Go figure. Um, battery life, it's okay. It's not the best. Right, let's go into battery. As you can see, I, I've got almost two days out of it, but I haven't used it much in the last two days. Um, I've got, what, about 35 minutes of, of on-screen time. So it's, it's not going to beat out your... Galaxy S3 or any other smartphone you have, but it does work pretty well. Um, I've shot a lot of the videos I've posted over the last couple weeks with this camera instead of my actual camera. So I've, I've been using it a lot. A lot of the pictures I've got in my articles are using this camera. Um, in the full review, which will be up in a couple days, you'll see video samples taken with that camera along with camera samples and that link will be down in the description once it's live and that's the review of the Samsung Galaxy camera